Greetings YouTubers, how's it going out there on YouTube land? Hopefully it's going pretty well. Well today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a little experiment. This is my 2008 Ford Fusion. And a couple of videos back, I pulled the exhaust off on the back. Had a PO420. I stuck an inspection camera down into the O2 ports of the uh, manifold. Down into the um, catalytic converter. Couldn't find nothing wrong with it. It's all together. It's not melted or anything. But more than likely what's happened, it's all been overheated. And it's no longer working. I did replace the thermostat on the front here. It was throwing a code for a PO, uh, say P0128 not getting up to operating temperature so i figured well maybe if i replace that if the engine temperature gets up to normal maybe it's just running rich and it's triggering the o2 uh, sensor to kick off for po420 and of course that did not fix the uh, issue so here's what we're going to do i have to go ahead and replace the catalytic converter on here anyway so i figure before i do that i have one of these things called a o2 extender and there it is. Now what these are, these actually screw into your O2 port, and then you screw your oxygen sensor into there, and it, what it does, it tricks the computer into thinking that your catalytic converter is working, and it keeps the check engine light off. Now if you look closely, they make two types of these. They make them without this little filter that's inside. This one here actually has a miniature catalytic converter filter in it, and I don't know how well you can see that, but it's it's down in there. And on this side, I think you can probably see it a little bit better. So uh, they make two types. The ones that don't have the filter in them, uh, a lot of people say that they work, but I don't know. But I wanted to go ahead and just get one like this. This one was 25 bucks. Now, if you have a PO, let's see, if you have a P0 uh, 430 and a PO 420, it's probably not going to work for you. The PO 430 is usually a sign that you have an unmetered air leak and it's triggering the PO420 also. Now, if you just have the PO420, it's a good sign that your catalytic converter is pretty much burned out. Now, a lot of people will change their catalytic converters for high flow cats and they their, their catalytic converter may be working just fine, but the uh, computer is sensing that it, a little more uh, emissions that it shouldn't be uh, putting out and it still triggers the O2 sensor to kick on and you'll get a PO420. Now a lot of times these are just mainly for off-road use for like four-wheel drive applications and so forth. If you live in a state that has a, an emissions test, don't even bother because they will see this and they will not pass your emissions. Your PO420 you will have to really get it fixed the right way. And I believe those states will probably be like California and New York. But where I live we don't have emissions. I just want to see if these actually work, and if you have an off-road application and you want to put one of these on your uh, automobile or your vehicle just to keep the check engine light off, if you put a high-flow new cat on, this actually might be okay. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go ahead and change this out. Let me show you what I, what I have to do here. Now on my car... It's pretty easy to get to. I've had this exhaust off. You can see all three O2 sensors right there. You got one before the cat, you got one in the center of the cat, then you got one on the very bottom back down there. It might be kind of hard to see that one. That's the one we're going to change out. Now, in reality, I should have probably bought two of these. I should have put one in the cat and one at the end, and it may actually work, but I just want to see if one of these will work with them uh, screwed into the exhaust here and if you do this typically you put these in after the catalytic converter the very last port you don't want to actually put them in the cat unless you actually have the only o2 sensor in line that goes into the cat then you might try that but typically these goes behind the catalytic converter in the exhaust so we're going to go ahead and change this out i'm going to take the o2 sensor out there We'll screw this in and we'll put the O2 sensor in and we'll check the mileage. And my light usually comes back on in about 60 to 80 miles. I'll get a pending code first, then after about 150 miles, the check engine light will come on, then it's a hard code. So uh, let's see if this thing actually works. Okay, I tell you what, before we do that, let's do some uh, scientific data here real quick. This will be really fast. I wanted to show you what codes I actually do have right now. And for stored codes, you 
you can see I have a PO420 catalytic efficiency issue. Now, if I go back here and kind of scan and see what else we have, if we have any pending codes, that's the only one we have, and it's on, it's on bank one. Now let's go in here real quick and get some live data and uh, we'll show you what each O2 sensor is reading and you can see the voltage in all three O2 sensors are just jumping all over the place. The last O2 sensor, the voltage should not be jumping around so this is why I'm pretty sure that the catalytic converter is shot and once the PEDs here get loaded we'll look at them. Okay so here's my complete list. We're going to go to the one and two O2 sensors and get the voltage information really quick here and there is a bank one and bank two so there's bank 102 sensor there so we'll go ahead and uh, look at this one and you can see the voltage is jumping around this is the first O2 uh, sensor which is pretty typical it should be doing that it's just basically showing us what's coming out of the engine now let's go to O2 sensor number two which is in the middle of the catalytic converter so here is O2 sensor number two, and you can see the voltage is just all over the place. By at this point, it should actually be working a little bit. It should be saying that uh, there is some filtering going on of the emissions, but you can see it's just basically uh, jumping all over the place. Let's see, there it goes down, there it goes back up. The voltage goes from 800. <laughs> all the way down to 195 so like I said at this point there should be some cleaning going on so let's go ahead and go to O2 number three and it will show basically uh, it's the same all right we'll scan all the way down to O2 number three at this point I would have thought it would have cleaned that up a little bit but uh, wow the voltage is just everywhere it's all over the place so let's go ahead and graph it real quick see it's on the low side there's jumping up and down it's, it's, it's just all over the place so I know this catalytic converter is pretty much shot a good catalytic converter will have pretty much the same voltage across the board or the screen if you will and just to kind of simplify it here is oxygen sensor number two and here is number three the last one in the uh, system and you can see look at it it's just jumping everywhere down and up so unfortunately I was hoping the uh, thermostat would take care of the issue when I replaced it but it didn't I figured maybe it was running a little rich and uh, dumping maybe just a little more fuel into the system than it should be causing the uh, PO420 but you can see the voltage is all the way down now running low but you can see that middle O2 sensor there it's just all over the place and the bottom one well it's staying on the low side right now it's staying on uh, looks like about well they're jumping back up there it goes back up. So if a good catalytic converter, if your O2 sensor should re be reading a nice line across the graph here, it shouldn't be jumping up and down like that. I mean, the, the last O2 sensor is working a little bit, but not like it should. And, and I have the California emission, so, <laughs> you know, if there's just a slight hiccup, it's going to throw the check engine light on. So we'll go ahead and put this uh, O2 extender in and see what we got. And you can see the voltage still. I'm up to operating temperature right now. It's right in the middle where it should be. And unfortunately, that O2 sensor is saying, nope, sorry, your catalytic converter ain't working like it should be. I'm throwing the check engine light on. Deal with it. All right, so let's go ahead and change this out and see if it works. Okay, so we got the oxygen sensor out and mine's a little warm yet if it is yours is a little warm squirt some oil around it you know unthread it a little bit put some oil around it used oil screw it back in and 
unscrew it it'll eventually eventually come out um, a lot of times they will jam up if you don't do that so here is the guy here now this takes a little bit bigger socket i'm not sure what size this is looks like a one and seven eighths socket and the uh socket that i took the o2 sensor out is one of these guys here you can get these at the parts store and now all we have to do is go ahead and um i'm gonna screw this in the o well actually i'm gonna screw this in first then i'm gonna screw this into the o2 sensor and then you can see how the setup here is kind of like that so it'll be fun to see if these actually do work and i think if you look closely you can see that ceramic stuff in that so i don't know so i better have them get this together mother nature says she's in control so I better hurry up okay peoples we got it in i don't know how well you're going to be able to see it down there but it's the very last o2 sensor if i put my finger down here you might be able to kind of get an idea it's sitting right here there's the extender and there's the o2 sensor and we got all the wires hooked up so uh wasn't too bad to do and there's all the tools that i needed to kind of help me out so what we're going to do is take it out on the highway we're going to reset the mileage on it and we're going to see if this thing works or we'll come back here in about 150 to 200 miles and let you know what we have but by 200 miles i definitely will know if this is going to work or not so i'll see you then okay kids and i mean no disrespect uh we're gonna go ahead and clear off the codes and uh we're gonna get ahead and get ready to take this out and uh drive it some and rack up some miles and see how she's going to be and there is the code we have the po420 code pending code stored codes, whatever all right so we're gonna go ahead and erase this here All right, erase it, yes. All right, it's done. And we have no more check engine light. We're gonna go ahead and reset the mileage on it here. Let me hit the reset button. It's at uh, 6,252 6, miles. All right, now we're at zero, so actually that's trip, trip A, okay, so about 150 200 miles we'll come back and i'll give you my results so uh, i'll see you then okay folks well here are the results it's been two days and i've been uh driving quite a bit locally and uh, unfortunately wah, 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 it did not work for me my check engine light is back on and i have a po p0420 so the code actually came back on at about, it was a pending code, I checked, it was about 120 miles and 150 miles through the check engine light on. Now, to be fair, I did see that the back O2 sensor, which this is screwed into, it is trying to work a little bit. But the problem is, I have three O2 sensors, I have one and the catalytic converter in between them, and I have a second one at the very end, like this picture I'm going to show you right here at the bottom of the screen and you can see how that's kind of set up now in all fairness if i'd had two of those o2 extenders in this system one at the end and one in the middle maybe it would have kept the check engine light off but for me it did not work and also another kink is i have something called the california emissions which it actually has a very strict emission control system on it but as you can see here, this is the only code I have. So uh, I have no PO430, <clears throat> just a PO420. So I've ordered a catalytic converter. It's coming. It was quite expensive. I've actually got one for about $250. And um, it was kind of interesting just to see if this would work. So if you have a California emission and you have three of these O2 sensors and you're going to only use one of these extenders, it's probably not going to work for you. But if anybody has actually used these and uh, it actually has worked for you, let us know in the comments section so we can actually uh, kind of pass the information along. But for me, it was definitely a no-go. And before we end the video here, I just wanted to show you that uh, the engine is running great. A uh, perfectly good running engine. It's just that this particular emissions on this vehicle is so strict that the computer will detect the slightest 
information coming out of that back O2 sensor and if it doesn't like what it's seeing it's going to throw that check engine light on and you're going to get a PO420 and if I look down here you can see all three of my catalytic converter well you can see the catalytic converter and you can see the one oxygen sensor two oxygen sensors and the third one right here so this system is all one piece and this is why it's gotten kind of expensive for me anyway okay well guys that's it it was kind of a neat experiment if you do have a uh, PO420 and you want to buy one of these uh, extenders to see if it'll keep your check engine light off I would say go ahead and buy one I mean if you have only two places in the exhaust system that has 202 sensors one before and after the cat it's probably gonna work but for me if I would put two in there it may have worked but uh, that's another video maybe for another time but for me this was my result your results might be different and if you have a different result share it with us and let us know what you think okay but until my next video guys thanks for watching and I'll see you later